on you guys it is John Allen 168 here welcome back to the class without collectors boy oh boy it has been a little bit it has been the first week of school for me I call it a week but it's really been three days it's, it's definitely felt like a week that school transition so yeah we're back we're doing the class without collectors uh looking forward to uh getting it started let's get it going do you boys want to know what's hype? You know what's hype is when you find a base that doesn't have a freaking mortar. Yes, yes, yes. This is awesome. You know what the best part about this is? is basically, we can attack from any one of the base, any sides of the bases. There's no splash damage at all. No wizard tower, no mortar. We're just going to go ahead and rain down some terror on these, uh, on this base. It's going to be absolutely crazy. We got a bunch of the archers. It's no matter how, you know, we can, we're going to put them all down right now. And they are just going to hopefully go through this entire base. There we go. There we go the barbarians we've got them all deployed let's just see what happens it's fun to just deploy all the troops see how far they can get that'll be super cool so it is a, is friday is the first first week of school is down i know you guys are in school and stuff and some of you aren't yet definitely a change from summer into uh the school year sleep wise uh you know just shit, homework you know like what the frick is homework oh yeah it's that stuff that you have to do at home now i was just getting used to that i wasn't able to put up any videos uh this week just because you know it's kind of hectic getting back and all that stuff i've got running i got Oh my gosh, I'm actually, I'm going to a practice tomorrow morning, 6.30 a.m. My coach likes to do it nice and early in the morning, which is nice for all of us. <laughs> no, <laughs> but it actually is because it's nice and cool. So we get it really hot in California and stuff. Looks like we're going to get the three-star pretty dang easy. We got a minute and 30 seconds left. Yeah, let's go. Dodge the trees, guard. They're going to under the tree. Oh, no, they dodged the tree. They dodged the tree. Uh, there's that builder's hut. Is that the last thing? No, we're going to have a army camp over here. Who's going to be the winner? Let's find out. It looks like the archers, the girls are completely beating the boys that is just that is just wow that's impressive so there they go they're just fast runners as they go in and are just gonna destroy this army camp three star there we freaking go bang 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 nice 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 little bit of loot there I, I enjoy that let's see if we can go get some more and here we are in raid number two, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a lot of loot here, and I love it. So let's go get it. Here we are, first week of school, guys. I am a junior. I've told you guys before. Going into the junior year, now for me at my school, junior year is that year that everyone says, oh my gosh, you're literally going to die of, like, work. Like, literally, there's so much to do. There's not enough time. I, I stayed up till freaking 4 a.m. every freaking Sunday and every day during the week, which is... I mean, that's got to be a lie. You know, it's it's the people that in my school, at least at my school, junior year is considered the hardest year. Look at that. Uh, there's Brandon. Shout out to him. Basically, junior year is considered the hardest year because of the amount of work that you get. Now, senior year, first semester apparently is just as hard or harder, but the second semester of senior year is pretty dang swag for, like, get into college, and you just don't really have to worry that much. Um, so that's pretty cool. But apparently, this is the year of years. I mean, I'm going in. I, I, I think I, basically, for me I feel like I got a, a pretty swag schedule I've got I've got some hard teachers and I've got some easy class teachers and uh, teachers means I mean it's always the teacher guys if you've uh, it's if you get higher and higher in education I mean once you get to high school for me it's like you know there's there's a bunch of different kids there's a bazillion kids in my school and um, we, you know there's not not one teacher that teaches each course so you can either get a really hard teacher for that course an easy teacher a mediocre teacher and that's just like how much work they give you and how their tests are and stuff like that but you know sometimes the hardest teachers are actually the best teachers you know they're actually really good at you know insightful stuff and they they help you out and it's like it's good that way but you know sometimes it's really nice to get an easy teacher so i feel like i had a pretty balanced a balance of you know easy and hard teachers this year but you know you never know until like a month in first impressions and stuff there's some of the teachers i had my freaking history teacher so i dropped like 30 f-bombs the first class which is just which is just awesome because normally the teachers that swear are like oh Okay, you're cool. Normally they turn out to be cool, um, so that's good. And uh, my my English, I have a really cool English teacher as well. He seems uh, he's like a young guy, very smart though. He already he made like a triple metaphor with like the first thing he said to our class, um, which is just already like pretty crazy. If you guys don't know what a metaphor is, it's something that you say something that basically has like double meaning. So like it can mean one thing, it can mean another thing, and his thing meant like I think three things, so two or three, something like that, which is just really cool um, for me because I do like English. Um, so today the question of the day is oh my gosh the question today i almost forgot my question to you guys today is what is your favorite subject in school since we're kind of talking about it, it's back to school hate those words but yes um but what is your favorite subject so let's go ahead and jump in and uh let's upgrade some stuff right freaking now Ooh, should we go on one more raid ladies and gents i think we should we, we gotta get that fifty thousand. 
Alrighty boys, this is the one. Let's go ahead and grab it real fast and we will get uh, back to upgrading some greatness. Let's just do that. I want to get that. I just wanted to get that cannon because then it will be maxed out and we're just getting close to maxing out Town Hall 4 so we can move on. You know, we've been taking things nice and slow on this account and that's just fine. That's the way it works. So here we go. Definitely got 50,000. Should we go for the win? I think I'm, I don't really care. I kind of want to lower some trophies because I feel like there's better loot when you get lower. Um, so there we go. That is that. Let's upgrade that cannon right now. Bang, bang. There it is. Six hours. I mean, gosh, six hours. That's just that's just awesome. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade our gold storage to level seven. Yes, we can. The answer is yes, um, as always. So there it is. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Clash with Al Collector. The question of the day, what is your favorite subject in school? I guess for me, uh, to answer that quiz question, I think it's English. English, I have some great English teachers. Uh, not grammar sort of stuff, but really like reading books and, you know, understanding books, you know, more than just the plot. It's cool stuff like that. So I'm into that. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to hear from you guys in the comment section below let's get the hype baby let's go uh and i will see you guys next time